Rocking and rolling. All right, everybody. Hello, and welcome to Battle for Midway, Season Four, Week Four. We are doing EMP versus Two Two Eight Wild Ones. Gonna have some funny Australian guys on the match today. Co-caster with me today is Toaster. He doesn't have a name up for some reason, as this system is failing me. Hello, hello, hello everybody. In true NA fashion, we're uh, waiting to get both teams. Hopefully that'll be sorted shortly. Jay-Z is deployed, apparently, in a match. I'm a little confused. So I guess while we... But yeah. Yeah, while we Go wait, ahead. we can discuss the kind of cluster F that has gone on in Div A this season as... Uh, both teams that Imperial fought that we cast, you and me both cast, round one and round two, did forfeit. So EMP technically only has one round on record, which is against the Smoke Adders, which they went 13 and 7 with. Yep. Where... Points are a little a little silly looking right now. Yeah, everyone's got but... the, the bye week, so it's a bit odd. You don't know who's who could technically have the good lead right now. Because two to eight wild ones went eleven and nine against the smoke adders and went eleven and nine against clan smoke jags. So, also on MRBC yeah. two is the smoke adders versus clan smoke jag right now, I believe. That Kraz, it's Curlon. Uh, Cur Curlon is oh, running Curlon. on. Okay. Kraz would be on clan smoke jag, so I don't think he wants to cast it. Oh yeah, yeah that's probably probably a good thing he's not cast. Um, but, yeah, I don't know. We'll see. I'm going to yell at Jay-Z in Discord and see what, what the deal is. That is true. Oh, it's not the showcaster group. I need the manager group. We will have five giveaways tonight, as I've been told we have too much to give away and need to give it away. So expect some mech bays and some MC to go out for... To the good people out there, if you would like to win stuff, Oilers. Will, my Oilers are playing tonight, so let's hope they beat Detroit. Because that's what I want to see. But I guess we could talk about. Uh, we are running Termaline Desert, Caustic Valley, and then the Map Ban, which is. Oh no, wrong area. Oh, I had it up. Let me go find it. I don't know, four hot maps, and then I believe HPG was one of the one of the possible ones in the map band. Let's see, week four, we've got HPG, Mining Collective, and Forest Colony in the map band pool. So I'd say those are generally pretty brawly to mid range. Forest a little bit longer range, but you know, mostly even that, it's hard to control the map with long range for sure. Yeah. I haven't seen too many water strats work out in a long time, but you never know. Yeah, because on Thursday we got to watch the last one they picked mining. I can't even remember who I freaking did now. Got him awful at this. <laughs> awful. Freaking right, awful. Well, JT is at least no longer deployed. So he's in a group. We'll hopefully get him in here soon. Oh yeah, because we watched 2 to 8 Death from Above. They played their first round on uh, Tournament Line. They brought streaks, came, took it hard to uh, <coughs> to Cameron's Highlanders. And then in the next one, they brought three dragons with the three UAC. Three UAC 2s. I believe that's how that works in that one. Yeah, three UAC 2s. It's a very, played, very strong match. Played some long range on it, so that was interesting to see. Also, everyone stick around after. We will have interviews as well as everything else. And then after us, there is the gap between us and the next match, which will be Cranky Canadians versus uh, Merkstar Turret Drops. Two hours from now, or an hour and 50 minutes anyways. So stick around for the double header. I think RJ is going to be hosting that one. I don't know if he's got a co-host. He didn't tell us, did he? I... Uh... I think he did, but I forgot. But RJ's the only one that matters, so. Oh, his himself and Mikado, so RJ and another 2-2-8 player, Mikado from Black. 
Oh, okay, yeah. So he does have to go. So he's good to go. Easy peasy. Oh, he said it right there, too. Good, I was about to ask yeah. him. <laughs> Fantastic. Yeah, we got most of Jay-Z's team here. Yeah, we've had EMP on the list for a while, and 228 is five out of six on our list here. With the sweet, sweet Australian team rolling in here. Have you got a chance to catch any of the black, the uh, wild ones? I have not. I got their match against CSJ, and let me tell you, the Aussies, like, they they are like the, the kings of pulling weird strats that somehow work that you never saw a scene fights uh i don't know grim grim uh Pl grim Pl um you know the whole area way on the edge of the map that's where their matches ended up being fought against csj oh, not, nice. not out in the middle not on the hills so you know i'm kind of hyped to see what these teams are what, what jay-z and his guys have up in their pocket was that the one that was that the match that rj did on the breast cancer stream? uh that was where they it may have been. They were on the edge of the map watching the two points, weren't they? Yeah, yeah. It was really uh, interesting. Yeah, yeah. I would never have thought about that, but it really made sense, you know, once you see which map or which points can be capped. Yeah. I'm definitely thinking outside the box. Yeah, no, definitely. Definitely an interesting strategy, especially for a map where you're just used to going to the center. Yep. It's good to see. So people first using drop the parts. Tourmaline here. I don't know, what are you expecting? Um, um, maybe maybe some SRMs is. I feel like I've been wrong a lot, but you know, I think SRMs probably pretty good with Artemis buff. Maybe uh, the dual Ultra Twenty Hunchback. We saw Bowser running that last. I mean, from what I seen them do last year, I, I'm pretty sure it was EMP last year. Stock, yeah, we'll give you some stock, Max. When they rolled over the, actually, where's my map? Which is not on the right one. All right, both teams are ready and locked, so we're going to lock. Yeah, they rolled over that E5 to D5 between Theta and Epsilon, and just, I'm pretty sure it was them I watched the drop, and they just rolled them through that line, just heavy, came in hard. Oh, Ash is saying six giveaways, not just five. Ooh. Three of each. He wants me to give all the money away, just to take it, have it all. Wait, three of each, does that mean, okay. Yeah, we got mech base. So we'll do one three thousand MC. So after every match, and then after the interview. Do I have no sound? All right. I hope you have sound. There we go. It's pretty quiet there for a while. Dropships are coming in. I'm over here on the Imperial. Looks like we've got Goat and an Assassin 23, Third Eye and an Assassin 21, Chimera and a Jaeger mech. Wouldn't have expected that. Bowser and a Hellbringer, Seleth and a Javelin, that's the missile one, and Charlemagne and Wolfhound. So pretty standard. I'm a little surprised by... Got shots going on already. Yeah, I'm interested in 228. That's... The wild ones bringing two Jaeger DDs, Bye Bye X and Kondo, as well as they have three Assassins and a Piranha ran by Jay-Z because they are slowly pushing to Theta with those lights. We have gained they appear to be... Oh. They were trading well at, at first, but Bye Bye already losing an arm on his Jaeger mech, so that's almost half of it. Looks like they're AC2, 6 AC2s on these guys, so they're prepared to... And that is the build I like to see because that's the one I run. Although I don't know who they're shooting, but they are. Yeah, bye bye. They're, is not they're two v one training with Chimera, but the brawl has started back here. I don't know those those Jaegers for wild ones. Charlemagne already taken down on Assassin Twenty Three. Yeah, that was a beautiful strike. Oh, this is just there, a messy brawl. A bad overheat on one of these assassins, or maybe he's just legged. He goes down. Kaguru is. I'm not gonna pronounce. <laughs> Kaguru but, Ikazash, Ikazushi. It looks like Wild Ones Jaegers have finally made it all the way. They had to do the long march down from Seattle. Yeah, Bowser's not having a good time. The rest of the Wild Ones is kind of backed up. 
it's 3v1 on this corner. Hellbringer and a Jaeger mech for EMP with their uh, Wolfhound against the two Jaegers of... Yeah, Bowser playing smart, trying to stay light and not get shot because they were... Yeah. They were focusing Jay-Z kind of in the back takes down McGoat and his assassin. And he also takes out Seleth. So it's still pretty close. Oh, well, as was. I say. <laughs> it was pretty close. Just the two Jaegers left for wild ones in it. Actually, I believe they've been disarmed. Literally and figuratively. Yeah, and that's it. I mean, yeah, they, they could have finished off Bowser a little bit quicker. They would have had that extra point. With him being at 52, there wasn't much left. Interesting to see the Jaegers on drop one. Not something I would have expected. Yeah, especially with the, and I believe with that, uh, I can't remember what light engine you have to run or which standard you have to run, but it you you're slow. Oh yeah, the, yeah, I can see Chimera right now. He's just barely tread. Chimera actually appears to have five, five, yeah, five AC twos. Let's take a look at these damage scores here. Yeah, 714 from Chimera. Like, what the heck? Though he Ooh, was baby. Those were some good trades for him. Holy smokes! Yeah, maybe he got a good strike in, but even with a good strike, that's that's a lot of damage for. He just firing the entire map. Yeah, two to eight's damage. Not, not doing a lot of good. I mean, Jay Z cleaning up with the piranha, but 250 is top damage. That is not a good start. Yeah, not great. But you know, you never know. First drop. Maybe they're just getting warmed up. So what we got here? Definitely, I think one thing that really hurt Wild Ones was that engagement starting behind stage and those Jaeger mechs just out of the fight for way... They didn't have the time like uh, Chimera did to yeah, be putting it. They weren't there fast enough, whereas Chimera could just turn and shoot and light, the, light those lights up when they were coming yeah. in. But then again, maybe they were just hoping to kind of catch EMP by surprise. I could try, yeah. I mean, they weren't tight on that corner, though, and you you couldn't see them being tight there, so it wasn't a great decision. But I guess while you're swapping teams, let's do a mechbay giveaway. If I can make this sweet thing work for once right off the hop. Ah, uh, of course it doesn't, like, doesn't love me at all. Aha! And did... remember, guys, you got to be active in chat. Yeah, Even be if active. You're literally, just typing. Be active in chat. Pay attention. Be here. And if you do win, message either Toaster or uh, System Belmont. What's your What's your Twitch name? Huh? System Belmont now. Aha. Uh -huh. So either message Toaster or System Belmont, and we'll get you your code if you... You want codes, you gotta holla at me when you win. Ah, Yowzar! You're a free winner of a mech bay. Although Ash and Saruman almost had that as well, so... Congrats to Yowzar. Like I said, holler at Toaster or me, System Belmont in chat. I am not an admin. I don't think Toaster is. You're not either. So you No, have... I am not an admin. Rip. So you have to come find us. I just pretend to be important. So we got these guys almost switched around. Yep, looks like 228 is ready. Aussie fashion, they're, they're bucking the trend. They're good to go, AS. Oh yeah, 228 is locked. Just waiting on our friends at EMP. So, now that now that both teams have spent some of their yak, do you think it's, what, a limit of three? Yes, limit of three. So, maybe, maybe 228 still bring one. But that'll be all their Jaeger mechs for all three drops. Not exactly a mech I'd expect to see too much of, but maybe it's just the constrictive, restrictive map or number of mechs you have to go. I mean, I didn't expect to see it at all, so 
Although, like I said, against yeah. two two eight DFA, I didn't expect to see dragons, and they had them. Well, so, well, both team both teams uh, brought their Jaegers, so we're missing something. Oh yeah, also they are five five tons over, so they are not locked. Somebody's in the wrong mech. <laughs> Just gonna sneak this one in there. No one's gonna. Ah, oh, they noticed. I switch back. Because right now the tonnages are both the same. It's not bad having that 25, 25 to play with there. It's not too noticeable. But that was interesting because, yeah, exactly what I said EMP did in one of the matches I watched in MRBC, 228 was trying to do it. They didn't fully focus that push because it was uh, had to be a drop four or five that EMP did on that push on that corner there. But they had all four assaults there and just ran it, whereas they had the two Jaggers and ran that corner and then had the light swing around and try to work that pincer. But like you said... Yeah, I kind of wish like as soon as they saw that there was only one other Jaeger trading... Maybe they just start W and across if their other guys are gonna do. Yeah, that's hard too because you don't think that corner is super high. Like, yeah, we'll get we'll get in vision quick enough, but it, it, you don't. Like, it takes. Yeah, a, you got to get that, close like to get that peak over that zone corner. You're you're in a dead zone where you can't shoot. All right, both teams ready again. You ready? I am good to go. Let's go. I should have kept a pen here so I can keep track of who's winning the stuff. Oh, why are you playing me like that? Drop two, switch sides, tourmaline. Yep. I don't know, maybe, maybe uh, if EMP brings another Jaeger, 228 will go for the arms. Like. Seems like a pretty hefty weakness on those mechs. I believe Jaegers, were they one of the mechs that had their arm armor reduced and side torso? Oh, I hope not. That's one of I my know favorites. The, I know the Stalkers and Jenners did, but I'm not sure about Jaeger. Alright, both teams flying in. I believe these are very the same or similar lances to what well, let me tell you what 228 brought. We got Kagaru in the Arctic Wolf, Roa Nitrox in the Arctic Wolf. Brought their last Jaeger DD from Bye Bye. Jay Z's in his Javelin, a Dragon 5N for Kondo, and another Arctic Wolf for Pete Zoni. EMP, two Wolfhounds, a Wolfhound 2, a Wolfhound 1A, a Sun Spider that's already trading, a ja another Jaeger, and Assassin 23, and a Javelin. Is that Sealith in the ditch there? I don't know how he got down there. Or, oh, wait, yes. He's, he has far left side, just in his little javelin, I guess, trying to see Ang. No. Yeah, yes. Yes, that is a javelin. I always get those confused with this. But right now, we just got a trade war going on here. Sun Spider and the Jaeger for EMP with the Jaeger from 228 and the Dragon. Yeah, Charlemagne's lost an arm, which is fine for him. Because he's all yeah, chest probably just a dead arm. Bye bye, taking some bad hits, but Bowser at a lower percentage. I guess that bye bye just more. Oh wow! Yeah, Sealith is getting just just raped there, and he's out of it. Yeah, Sealith just got jumped by the lights of T two A. I didn't even see them coming. These Arctic wolves are going to be a problem. Yeah, Chimera getting hit by that that artillery strike. Yeah, some major strikes going out. I don't think EMP's wager, watching this. Like, Wolf Third Eye's about to get jumped by these Arctic Wolves. Yeah, and he's got his back to him. Maybe he can get back to his... Don't get picked. Oh, I'm too high here. Oh, Charlemagne has rotated over, killed the Jaeger for 2-2. All the while, this brawl's going. Chimera goes down for EMP. And it's just... It's just madness right now. Sun Spider has been forced down into the pit all by his... And he's fixing to get jumped. Yeah, with those five by this hit score. Ultra twos, he's got to be careful because yeah, you see CT. Uh, Chimera goes down. 
Looks like this one's going in the favor of 228. Although, they've got some very hurt mechs. EMP could bring. But I mean, yeah, they still got weapons, but they are hurt. Because Rowan Nitruck's still left. Charlemagne still. I mean, he's still. He hasn't touched the inside armor yet, so. Kondo, Kondo just sitting up here up top in his dragon. He's pretty fresh, it seems, but. Oh, he's disarmed. He has no. Oh, so he's just eyes. So it's effectively 2v2 right now. 228 definitely has a tonnage advantage, but are they going to be running? Oh. Oh, wow. no. Kondo gets the <laughs> team. Beautiful strike it's taken out one two. One. Wolfhound versus this Arctic Wolf. I have to imagine they're both dangerously hot and maybe even running out of ammo on the side of the Arctic Wolf. Oh, yeah, because he's got seven SRMs still. But he Let's is, see. Third eye, be third eye is pretty fresh, dangerously fresh, I'd say. Uh, his left leg's red armor, but he's not open anywhere in Port. Yeah, because this could still go in the favor of Imperial. Oh, uh, GG comes out from Jay Z. I just switched. Kaguru is out of ammo. Oh. Uh. <laughs> so, with no weapons between T28, maybe they could go for a cap win. They, with no caps started already. That's oh, game. Oh man, what a match! That's that's crazy. A lot of disarming going on here. People running out of ammo, losing all their weapons. Yeah, because now the only problem they have is yeah, that wolfhound's fast, and he's yeah, still got there's weapons. No way. Gondo's Gondo's in a bad place right now. Yeah, the third eye knows that. Or he's gonna find out. I'm I'm sure Third Eye at this point knows the dragon is disarmed. I yeah, I think Kondo bet knows you too. Charlemagne That's... called it. Yeah, There's nothing they going can do for the honorable head. Head. <laughs> Very good game. Very close. Wow, wow, that was crazy. Holy crap. Cause yeah, that's ah. Oh, Cause who did he kill with that strike? Was it? Uh, oh, I'd have to go back and look. I believe Kondo it, killed ROA Nitrox. I think that's who it was too. But even even with one, I don't know. I have to imagine the other wolf or, or Arctic wolf was similarly running. So, and given how fresh Third Eye was, it might not have made it. He did score a kill with that strike too, I believe. So. Yeah. Oh yeah, he's got to push for the other one now too. Get now, those points above. Yes, we have to wait. Run, run, third eye, run. Yeah, that's the thing that sucks too. When you, yeah, I don't need as much ammo for a six v six, and then you actually run out of ammo, and it's yep, tight yep. like this, and you're like, ah, uh, crap. It wouldn't have mattered. <laughs> 99 matches out of 100, but this one... Yeah. He may have also had some crit out. I don't particularly know how much you... But oh, oh well. GG's to all. That was a very interesting match. The 228 Black Watch, or Wild Ones hit squad just rolling. I thought they had it for a second, but... Yeah, that push on c and around when they swooped in, like, that was... That was interesting. I didn't catch it, but I, I think the one of the probably the big clutch play was Charlemagne going behind, icing the Jaeger, and I imagine he was the one who also took out the arm on that. Yeah, see, we got two two eight doing way better damage numbers this time. Like that's that's what I'm talking about. Bowser doing yeah. the most with five fifty one. Third eye, yeah, close oh, second, but good spreads on both teams. I, it could have gone either way. It was very close. Yeah, what a match. So EMP taking the win, not by much though. I'll drop Tusi. I can't wait till chat to see chat's reaction to them. Oh man. But anyways, we can go ahead and get started. I don't need to move player. Two two eight is team one for drop three. We do need to change to Caustic Valley. Yes. Yes, sir. 
And as Ash said, we got stuff to give away, so let's do that. Oh, what, what are we giving away this time? Giving away another mech bay. So being there we go. Working for me for once. It's happy days for the mech bays in MC. Is it? Is it not gonna load for me? Say it ain't so. We gotta get the people their stuff. What the heck? It's not loading nothing for me. Why? Why are you playing me like this? Type in the channel name correct. Oh, I did it twice. I'm not gonna screw that up twice. What do I have in mind? Nothing, because nobody likes me. That's fine. MRBC All right, so two. going up in ton. Oh yeah, I can get Three, two. So we're at 375 to 400 tonnage for this next drop. Yep. Uh, 228 has used all their Jaeger mechs. Not a, not something I expected to say today, but you know they were doing work. Yeah. Okay. Can't so blame can, them. We got this thing going now. So let's do a quick giveaway. Rock and roll. A Navid A1, Navid A1. You holla at me, System Belmont or Toaster in the Twitch chat. We can get you a sweet mech bay code, my friend. I will yeah, never, also not Rick. be posting in chat very often, so. So you better holler at me, because I want to see those messages after. Because I'll get to you guys towards the end. Since I still haven't received word from the last person who I didn't put right down. Oh, we need a pen. Or have this thing called a cell phone. Yes, yes. I didn't write it down either, but we can go back get video verification. Ooh, my team won. 4-3. Sweet mama. Ash wouldn't All know right. what hockey is because he lives in Australia. It's hot there. He's watched the Olympics, though. I assume. Right, we're slowly getting people back into some people hopping out and some some new face oh bringing in some d5 with zios who else are yep. we waiting for who will be numbers although who else is on i don't know it's it's such a such a hodgepodge of people from all over the place. You know. Back but, before, like, First World, this EMP did the recruiting spree, and they just got all... Is that, I, I haven't seen them play a death. They haven't played Kippers yet. Have we... S Vicious. Vexious. I don't think I've seen believe, it in a while. No, I, I believe Vexious has played. I, I think he was it. in the first or... Not, I don't know. This, I always play, but not, not much. Match, but, yeah. All right, looks like Charlemagne's out. Third Eye is out. We got Rick Rom and Zios in to take their places. Reckless. Although 2 2 Hate is short three players compared to EMP, so they have a bigger selection to work with. Yep. Although the Boss Man Live 1991 is on 2 2 Hate Wild Ones as well as Ash on EMP, so. Having a deep roster can be good, but you know, same something has to be said about having like you know a good core group of guys that you know are used to playing. Yeah, well, I mean, when you're you're on that list, but you're not on the playing list, it's you're like you don't really care after that. You're like, that wow, is frustrating. Man, I'm here if you need me, but I I could be doing other things, guys. Yeah, yeah. No, okay. no shame in that. Yeah, we got two to eight locked so far. 228 fast on the ball again. Although I haven't seen them use as many strikes, DFA used a lot of strikes in that match on Thursday. 
There was a, there, like, there, there had to have been at least 20, 25 strikes in those five matches, if not way more. Like it was, it was ridiculous. Yeah, the matches here have been pretty fast, though. Like, neither team's bothering to get caps or do any prolonged trading. We've got the, you know, initial pepper each other with ACs and ultras right off the start. You know, most of our matches haven't been going nearly to caps, and with the increased cooldown on strike, we've still seen a fair number, I think. Yeah. Harder to play some, too, when everyone's, you know, in a wider meat. <laughs> well, or you do what we've seen in that last match, and you get the, the team kill, so... Yeah, you gotta you be, be careful. careful. Yeah. You're dive-bombing people with your arctic wolves. Can yeah. be more of a hazard than... Yeah, so with Lucky Condo still on the r roster right now, after that team kill in competitive play. I hope someone uh, clips that in the on the Twitch. All right, so Caustic Valley. I'm gonna. I'm gonna say I'd expect some Lerms or ATMs on this. It's definitely a hot map. ATMs are pretty hot, but there's not too much in the way of hard cover on this map. If you get get a good lock you can do some real damage i know in d5 played this map we liked having at least like one or two atm mechs just because of the raw damage they can put out in a very short period yeah so i don't know what... i don't know what, what else do you think i think maybe any alice's i love i love the alice on this map something about it i don't know the atlas is i mean it's tanky as hell but it's just just not something not a one, not a mech that guys use much anymore in, in this type of stuff. With how much selection you have with other mechs, yeah, that's true. And it does have kind of the the chubby chin, can't look down, which yeah. can be a liability on this map. <laughs> Waiting on one more for me and Pete. Yeah, come on, guys. They you moved, don't gotta move the guys over. Well, I was going to say, because it's hot. Well, my last... They had six. They had six, and then someone left. Uh, Bowser. He's back. I guess they were rock, paper, scissoring for the last spot, so... No. Some slight roster changes on EMP, but, you know, still got Solus in there. I'm sure he's dropped. Doing an excellent job. Yeah. So while everyone's here watching, waiting for this match to start, don't forget to check out MRBC2 for SA versus Clan Smokejag from Curl on TV. Give him some love. Yeah, I'm sure those are as those I'm great matches too. There should still be giveaways on that one as well, as that still will, because Smoke Adders are in second place, and Clan Smoke Jag in fourth, as there only are four teams, so... Yep. It's going to be hard to miss podium. So it's going to be a desperate fight. But it looks like both teams are ready, so we're heading on in. Let's see what these teams have cooked cooked, cooked up. Maybe we'll see PPC mechs. I don't know. Summoner's nice on this map because it's pretty heat efficient, but I don't know that it has the DPS for a 60. Yeah, I think we're going to see a, a bunch of assaults and some lights. Because you can make those lights do work on this one in between those pillars or stone formations there yeah it's like if you're working around the edge of the caldera lots of ducking in and out you can do to get angles and surprise all right so talk to me what do we have on your side all right i'm over here by emp i've got rick rom and a mad cat b i'm gonna assume that's daka bowser in a fafnir maybe lb10s chimera and a mad cat mark ii b I assume Daka again, Ziaz in a Nova, Seleth in a Piranha, and Reckless in a Trip. I wonder if it's Lerms. Is that the Lerm Trebuchet? <laughs> Bring in the Trebuchet out again, eh? On the 2 to 8 side, we got the Triple Mad Cat 2C 2s. A Piranha, a Griffin 2N, and a Wolverine 7K. So this is an interesting group as well. 2 to 8 send in their Light Mech in to snag that cap, Pete Dome bravely grabbing Theta, putting up a UAV to hope and pray that he doesn't get jumped. Meanwhile, EMP's gone and grabbed the first side cap Epsi. 
And it looks like EMP is going to try and hold off on that long range game, so this isn't a bad idea. It looks like this light mech. I don't know who it is. I uh, believe that is Selic Sultan in the Perona. Yes, he's just, I guess, getting some scouting info, trying to figure out where EMP is. Maybe getting some locks. That is an LRM trebuchet. Oh, two LRM 15s. But, but look at 228 Smex. They've got the Gauss LRM Madcats we saw on Polar Highlands not too long. Sorry. Is 228 a, definitely has the edge in Lerms. Three Merm 20s on that Wolverine. And those are high and Bowser, mounted. Bowser's Fafnir, I believe, is quad like God. So we've got all sorts of new tech here. Jay Z up, danger close. Oh, and Sealift Dirty planted that UAV by Bye Bye X and that Mad Cat 2C because he is getting rained with Lerms. Yeah. But. Oh, bye bye, yeah, bye bye. Ooh, he's he's dangerously close to dying already. It seems. Yeah, he's lost that shoulder thanks to Sealith and those Lerms. Two two eight or EMP just taking this hill. They're saying we've got direct fire weapons. If you're gonna come out to lock us, we're gonna get the better of these trades. Look, piranhas have both engaged each other. Yeah, poor Pete Zoni. He is getting rained with missiles. Pete Zoni and Sela. Uh, two two eight needs to get some Lerms on Sela. Force him off there. Their piranha. 228 has the alarm advantage. They need to be using that. I don't even know where to look for him in this match. This is. <laughs> this is just a mess. Looks like Pete Zone is going to go down. Yeah. He got caught out in the although, open ground. and. Yeah, although Jay Z's got a good eye on them from this side spot here. Yeah, Jay Z holding, holding locks on Zyaz in his small pulse Nova. Zaya's taking a beating for it. Overall, though, EMP is still still damaging there. Yeah, I mean, they're yeah. There's a few like Zaya's is about to go down. Bye bye is about to go down in his mad cat. They know. need to do something about Jay Z over here working this angle, holding locks for all of his alarm. But I think they're a little afraid to get too close. Oh, just raining on Bowser here. Celeth just takes out Bye Bye in the back. That is not good for 228. They're down two mechs already, Piranha and a Mad Cat, and with that, Kagaru is down in his grip. And they've had enough of Jay Z. He's about to go down. Yep, Chimera take. We've just got these two Lerm Goss Mad Cat desperately trying to out DPS EMP. Well, on all Chimera, Zios, Rick Rom, and Bowser are hurt. But like I said, with Reckless and that other trebuchet, he's doing good. But they're just pushing towards center, going to find this last Mad Cat who is being just harassed by. So can't turn his back on self, otherwise he's dead. <laughs> he's just mean. He's just mean. Well, you might get a kill or two here right away too, though. Yeah, yeah. You could definitely pick a kill. Going for Ziaz doesn't oh, quite get it. Almost. Yeah. Ziaz loses. Well, looks like most of his arm. Yeah, leg to torso. Oh yeah, no, he's he's thirteen percent. So yeah, he sneezes on that mech and he's he's in a rough place, but he's safe. So six and zero oh for EMP. But look at those percentages: 44, 47, 13, 63. Like those are some yeah hurt mechs. He's on Zia's and he's dead. I'd imagine Bowser is quite sick. some good damage numbers. Poor Zio's didn't get to do much with those short range, as well as Pete and that Piranha. Yeah, Pete. Pete got a little too close there, I think. Yeah, but Jay Z. Price. Look at that work in that Wolverine six eighty five. That's Stop not damage. Not bad that's, yeah. at all. That's impressive, and he was doing that while getting locks for his Lerm boat. Power to him. Maybe maybe two two eight just went a little too all in on the Lerms though. Yeah, that's hard to say. Cause I mean they were doing work. Just like I said, we just you just had to finish some of those mechs to take them out of the fight. Yeah. And that can be the hard difference. thing with Lerms too, is Yeah, since they just hit anything and everything. 
you know, and once you're once you're hurt, you know, you kind of start playing a lot cagier. Let your other teammates tank, and when you see them taking damage, then you. Pe All right. All right, let's get this show on the road. I'm gonna swap team. Damn it, Navid. Telling me thanks for the get mech bay, but I can give it away. <sighs> All right, so we get another get another giveaway. Got so many. I got two more now. Navid doesn't want. He's like, you know what? I got I got garage for days. I don't need that. So we got the MVP Nav. Two giveaways. Thank you, Navid. Navid. I don't know, man. Navid. Load it up, ditch you and me, and roll two of them again. Huzzah, huzzah. Remember to keep active in chat so we know you're here, and you know you're paying attention when you win stuff. Let's see who's going to win this. Assuming I let you see who wins it. Alright, now we've got the Aussie rivalry. Jay-Z and Ash in the same map. Can, can the stream handle it? <laughs> We'll never know. Well, actually, we'll, we're about to find out. But. Find out who is. There can only be one. Silver Fox AS. You're the winner of a Mech Bay, Mech Bay, uh, Mech Bay my friend. And since we have two, let me just take a freaking picture of that so I don't have to worry about it ever again. Let's run it again! Holler at me, System Belmont, or Toaster in chat. We can get you what you need. Or in Discord, since I'm on the MRBC. Alright, so some very interesting matches. We got to see the return of the Gauss LRM Madcap. That that mech is such a meme. Very, very good though, I actually. You're gonna run Lerms, man. That's that's the way to an apricot droop fruit. You, my friend, another one in Mech Bay as well. So you can holler at me, System Belmont or Toaster, in the Twitch chat. We'll get you, get you some free stuff. Cause how are we looking? Uh, we've got six in for both teams. Fingers crossed. No one has to jump out and move modules. Yeah. EMPs are the first ones to ready, so uh or that they have to they're the first ones that have to ready, so it could be Do you want to look at the map strat on that one or do you think it's fine? Cuz we might have some time here. Uh we could. Yeah, sure. Let's Am I even going to be able to just know where they were? Yeah, it's a little hard. So, let's see. They were on Echo 6, weren't they? Yes. EMP set up the bulk of their forces here, I believe. Uh, 228 kind of had Mad Cats over here at first, then some of them spread out. Jay-Z kind of pushed up to the ridge in Delta 6. Did some pop tarting with his merms, got some lock. Unfortunately, this is where... A little Pete zone ran up and died as he on his retreat. <laughs> poor, poor Pete. Yeah, I believe he got up his uh, his UAV, which is probably what his goal was. I just don't think he expected to be countered so hard by Seloth. Yeah. As Seloth was all in, Seloth knew he had his backup up there. Okay, but that being said, both teams are ready. So we can sniffing. keep map stratting, but I'd say we're gonna be better off. Yeah, we are basically ready to go. Because other than moving Jay -Z. into D five to finish, it was basically done there. Yep, yep. Or moving to Echo Four to finish off the last Mad Cat. That was about the way she went. But that long range game with those Goss and LRMs is interesting for sure. Okay, both teams are ready. I'm launching. Have you switched your overlay back? No radio cast. I am back and ready. All right.
So will we see as much of a preponderance of lerms? I don't think we will see them as much lerms this time, but, I mean, if you know they work, they work, so. It's interesting to see what the Div A teams do and how they think these work in terms terms of strategy-wise. Just waiting for the dropships to come down, put them where they're supposed to be. Because I think we should see more Goss this time, but... If yeah, everyone's yeah, hesitant yeah. to engage, then that might be the way they go. Is it the same way with the LRMs again? Neither of these teams have been ones to really do a long, long... And I think that's partially just it being 6v6. Harder to map control and harder to get a controllable lead on. But that being said, oh, I'm over is... here on the 228 side. Yeah, that's what I'm looking at. The, the three I see. Onions. Yeah, three onion 2CAs. So those are definitely brawl. Jay Z bringing his Wolverine again. Gonna show people how MRMs are done. Uh, Kagaru in his Griffin again, and Kondo in a linebacker. So they're fast. They're they're here to brawl, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, we got. Ash in the Archer 2R, Zio's in the Hunchback 2C with the Ultra 20s, Bowser in the Fafnir again, Rick Rom in the Mad Cat 2B, McGoat in the Hellbringer, and where is that sneaky guy over here, Sell in the Brana again. Yeah, doing, doing his job, he's, he's got to hopefully identify this quick for his team, otherwise 228's going to be on them. Ash, your shirt's and that up. Being said, who is this that's about to get jumped? Oh, Zios. He, oh. Zios. Oh, oh, he is, he is danger close with, uh, is that Rickrom? Yeah, Rickrom. And I don't think they want to be this close. Oh, wow. Kaguru went down. But that down being said, fast. yeah, Zios takes out the those, Griffin. Those Lerms. That was, that was brutal. Pete Zone about to go down, too. Yeah, they are pushing way too hard, Pete too needs fast. needs to start, start cleaning this up quick. They're already down too much. And they're giving EMP time to... Yeah, they were baiting them with those guys. Zia's Hunchback goes down. Rickrom goes down as a Mad Cat. Okay, so 228 bringing it back. But they're down to three mechs. Bye-bye down. Yeah, down. And his Orion. All three Orions down for 228. Yeah, and Jay-Z's about to go down from Celeste with those machine guns. Which I assume are light machine guns. Bowser and his Archer, or in his Fafnir and the Archer, just able to sit back here and shot Hondo, last one left in his linebacker. So it's just driving circles around him in his piranha. Yeah, that was a fast match. But I I just didn't like the way they pushed there. I mean, I don't think they had eyes long enough to see that they had guys far enough back that could just rain down on you. And then they just kept pushing it, too hard past the first target. It's... it's It wasn't... I, I mean, I, I think there are better places to push on this map. But with Ziaz and Rickrom that dangerously close, I think you take that advantage. Because if you get those mechs down a lot faster than what they... Ideally, then you have more mechs to go push on Bowser. Bowser wasn't... Bowser and the Archer weren't that far away. They were, you know, they were no, just across No, they were the close enough to get to, but it was just the fact that they literally walked, you know, hit Ziaz and walked past him like the next guy was going to finish him. But yeah, it's yeah. also a tough place to brawl in between those rocks. So yeah, for sure, for I mean, sure. Bye bye, still getting a decent amount of damage in that match compared to the rest of two two eight. But yeah, Ash doing work in that archer. Kagru just just getting iced in that Griffin man. The dual ultra twenty hunchback seems like a real power. Yeah, I don't know what happened to Kagru. Like he would everything hit him. Just literally. Yeah, I mean. Zaya's probably just hit the double tap for 80 and straight into his CT. And that's all she wrote. Hey, hey, puppy. Because we are looking at what? 4 0, 24 to 9 kills for Imperial over 228. Been close matches. Oh, yeah, that second round. I. I did not think even was going to win it and they like you said ran out of ammo and that was yeah. that was it for 228 so it I was... think it's just kind of the story of like every EMP match we've seen it's 
They, they're very close. BMP is just so good at like hanging on to those mechs, even. When... Well, I know when I was talking to, uh, I believe Sea Biscuit, they have worked on rotating mechs out when you're getting hurt, and I know EMP is just so unbelievably good with that. And anybody they bring in to play with them is unbelievably good at that. That when you're getting in a bad place, you rotate out that armor and put someone safer in. So. But that being said, map ban is already gone. Jay-Z first bans forest, south bans HPG, so we're headed to mining. And we have a giveaway to do, because now we're giving away a thousand MC. People want to win that money. Which probably means I should do it quick. Yes, sir. Although I gotta clear it. Add people again. Ah, do this every time, get rid of you, get rid of me, and let's rock and roll. Who was the last person to know? Ah, oh, don't say that. No, I got it. <laughs> oh, because no. people are saying that it was a bot. Are they? So I got another mech yeah. to give away. Landontron. Land Landontron. There's one thousand MC. And I swear to God, if we get any more goddamn bots in this freaking place, I'm just gonna quit doing giveaways and just find people in chat. Do you wanna? Do you wanna say if people haven't messaged you by the last drop? So we've got like how many more giveaways to do? Two more, a thousand MC. Two more, okay. So before we do the next two giveaways, if people who are supposed to message you or me haven't messaged us, we will re. I think that's fair. They'll, they've had plenty of time. That is fair because I actually haven't. Navid gave it back, so I actually yeah, haven't given shit away so far, which is depressing because I got right. so much to give away. Heard it here, chat. We'll, we'll, we'll give it away. Yeah, so Landon Tron, please holla at me, System Belmont or Toaster in Twitch chat, and we'll get you some with cash. Uh, that was the worst. So we are still waiting. EMP's got four guys on deck, waiting for two more. I guess we could run through right. that map strat. Watch, show people where that roll went through. We're sure. Get back to me, map strat. It was it was a very very quick map that map. Definitely, because they were they just they just ran straight. This is basically all they did. They just ran. They saw the EMP mix, the two EMP mix, and Echo Four. They rounded the rock and Dead. proceeded to get lit up. Yeah, that's basically where they all were with Sealith doing a whole bunch of everything in there, killing everybody. Yeah, Sealith just... You don't want to ignore a piranha, but sometimes you just have to. Yeah. And, yeah, just it was, it was just like... I don't know. They needed. They really needed to kill Zyaz and Rick Rom in that Mad Cat and Hunch. Just ASAP so that they can continue pushing. But what happened is they rounded that corner. They didn't kill them immediately, and then the push kind of pit. And they never, never uh, kept up their momentum to get across to the Light Goss. And one thing I will say about the Light Goss, the Quad Light Goss builds, they have some silly deep. You're just constantly firing 15, 15, 15, 15. Yeah, I haven't even tried Light Goss yet. Just too cheap, too lazy. I should. It, Although on the Fafnir, I highly I like recommend. My, my LBX-10, but when you want that pinpoint, definitely that is the way to do it. Yeah. It's it's hard to make work in solo queue because you really want to stick at like your maximum but if you get to just sit there and throw those shots, it's a very fun build. 
Yeah, if you know the team ahead of you is going to stay where they're supposed to be ahead of you, not leave, you will be good to go. So what, we still got EMP waiting on one. Yeah. What are the Bowser again? They're gonna bring him back. Just leave him. Bring Bowser. somebody else. Bowser, you, you've won. He's won two. I don't. I uh, just kick Bowser. He's won enough. Yeah. He's he's, he's somebody dead. else slot in. I mean, he didn't even have his max ready. Come on, like what? I mean, he's only won two championships, so yeah. It's not like he has a ton of MC to buy mech bays and just have whatever mechs. Yeah, he's got enough mech trophies. See, so you can let him. Let them run on these other two matches, or one. Ah, see, Bowser's yeah. back. So, <laughs> we haven't seen any Annies tonight, which is a little bit surprising. Yeah, because I definitely thought we would see some in that last drop on Caustic. But, like you said, two twenty-one yeah. ones does what they want. So. And this, this is, I do not think this is a map where, you maybe one or two Annies. It's easy to kind of, be stepping all over your. A lot, of, a lot of narrow choke points. Those things don't have jump jets, so they can kind of get kited on this. Because we're doing mining? Yeah, you said it is. Yes, we're doing mining. Yeah, people don't like that forest colony. I don't know why. It's a hard, it's a hard map to play, man. I do like the old one better. But I also liked old Terra Therma. Everyone hated it. Uh, is that can are you, are you reading chat? I am not. Is that posse for yes for? Poggers. Okay, okay. Jay Z is ready. What am I reading in chat? Uh, not not Twitch chat, lobby chat. Oh, but okay. we're dropping. I don't know. Jay Z. Jay Z said something which the Aussies claim is English, but I'm not. <laughs> How many Annies will we see? I'd expect to see one or two, maybe. But... Oh, right on the money. Okay, so I'm over here on the 228 side, I believe. Hopefully. Kagaru is ready to go, praising W. 10 out of 10, sir. All right. All right, 228. Bye bye in Kondo and Annihilator two ways. Kagaru in a Piranha 1. Jay Z in his Wolverine again. ROA Nitrox in a 2A and Pete Zone in a. So definitely very heavy. They're going to have to work around those annies carefully. Yeah, we got Zyos in an Ebon Jag, Bowser in the Fafnir again, and Ash and Rick Rom in the Annihilators. Running a lot of, yeah, a lot of Daka and Brawl so far. A bit more lasers on uh, EMP, so we'll see but, how that works. Yeah, I'm a ghost Looks and like... then the Piranha. Oh, back. Do they see each other? Oh, they... You got... Oh. Well, they know where Kagaru is now. They know where Kagaru is. They also knew where Seleth was. Yeah. Seleth almost copped a hit from the 228 Annies, but luckily they. Are we Neither team, it seems, able to get data. And right now, just spreading out, taking position. We could end up with kind of a bit of a trade war. Looks like 228 gonna be. Oh, oh yeah, they've been lighting up He's Jay -Z, stealing out so. Theta. Jay Z, oh, yeah, Jay Z taking almost 10. Oh, yeah. What is hitting him? Is it something all the way from this tunnel? But EMP said, has an Annie in their Fafnir just set up in this tunnel where all Zia's in his Ebon just taking up the. 228, you know, I'll secure it. They doesn't look like EMP's ready to contest it too much. Well, as I say, that Celeth is running up. Yeah, Pete's zone is just not 
enjoying those trades. Yeah, so he's, still... Ziaz is working him up. Oh, Sela barely makes it out of Theta before this Annihilator shows oh. up. This Annihilator walking up. Beautiful strike on Just Call Me Ash. I think it hit Zyos as well, but it did a lot of work on Just Call Me. Yeah, Jay Z work trying to work this corner with his take a little bit of pressure off of their night gear, but well, it's yeah, not the greatest range for these for this one. Yeah, not, Kondo, not terrible. Kondo not in a good spot here. You can see he's is he coming up to him? No, he's backing up because he can see Ash and Rick Rob coming in there. Not the place yeah. you want to be. EMP rotating right side, and they've got two annihilators just marching up this. Just. Being just going after. Now it looks like they're gonna just man mode up this ramp. Uh, Rick Rom. Who is that? Rick Rom and just call me at. Yep. And they're just taking data. I think they've decided they they need this. They want it, and so it is going to be theirs. Yep. Rick Does Rom. It seem Oh, Kagru taken out in his piranha. I did not see where that happened. Right oh, it looks like yeah, right, right by. You needed to get out of there fast without any of his. Team. Like two two eight still has this and these two annihilators just sitting way back. Oh, well, they might they're in good More position much now. Trading. And now Jay Z getting jumped over here. Well, uh, Salat doesn't look like he wants to. There's just not hurt enough. Yeah. You know. Jay Z with some cheeky peeks there in front of him. Yeah, MP's but... gonna come around though, and they're gonna take out this Annie and all by himself. But yeah. they're, they still have the two in the back trading. Maybe they can bring this bring well, this back. Oh, well, Nitrox is not in a good place. Another great strike, though, on EMP there. Yeah, Nitrox not a great place, but he does have his two other Annihilators there to kind of overwatch him. So when they pushed, they definitely took a lot of damage on EMP side. Bowser dead in the Fafnir on the ramp. Yeah, that was a nice even push there. Kondo dying while Bowser took it as yeah. well. But that being said, another... Uh, Annihilator goes down for 228, so still going in favor of EMP. Although damage percentage is still very even. Yeah, there's still all, a lot of hurt max on the EMP. Zia's taking a big peek, dealing a lot of damage, but getting hit him. Jay Z kind of just stuck in no man's land. Well, and he's, yeah, he's got nasty core CT, so he's got to be careful. And it looks like, yeah, 228, they need to get this night gear up on these buildings. He needs to quit worrying about this light. That Although I think Ash has got needs... nothing. Ash is a stick. No, Ash still has weapons. No, he's got zero. Just saw him shoot. Well, he just had him, but he's got nothing now. Oh, man, no, he's got nothing. Yeah, Rick Rom going down. Oh, Rick be Rom. A... Pete Zone, Pete Zone taken place. out. Yeah, but he Pete Zone took out took out an ant, so not a total loss there. But yeah. now it's three to. Oh. Jay Z, the last one left, and oh, yeah. Jay Z, see Jay Z still has weapons. Taking out Celeste. Oh, boom, Jay -Z two does, one. Yeah, Zyrus oh. has still got full weapons though. Yeah, yeah. Jay Z versus a very hurt Annie and a very hurt Eben. <laughs> this could go either way, honest. It is basically yeah between him and Zyrus, who gets the first alpha off. But he's still got jump jets. Oh wait, wait! I've I've begun spectating Jay Z, and he is actually out of ammo. Oh, oh yeah, and he's down now. Well, that was a good match. Now, that was. I mean, we were expecting another close one at some point, and there it was. Yeah, it's, <laughs> yeah. So I'm spectating Ash now too. Ash completely straight. And yeah. Jay Z sure. was just down. If Ziaz takes a scratch hit to his CT, he's down. So oh, I was shows, literally. It shows him with no CT in mine. But yeah, 31 and 32 percent. That is yikes. <laughs> Once again, running out of ammo, comes back to bite wild ones. Yeah, it looks Kagru. like that. Six damage in a piranha. That are, that's rough. You needed to get out of there. Oh, and if they had him at all during that match, would have been so much help. But yeah, if he'd been there at the end. That would have been boom. Easy. See, I remember. I think it was Saruman who was giving me flack about the Ebon Jag. But you look at Zio's making it work with that 730. Yeah. 
730 out of an Eben, very respectable. Is that that's top damage out of the whole match? Yeah, I mean Jay Z next with the Wolverine 7K and those Merms. I mean he definitely makes those work work well. Yeah. 228 definitely putting up a very good match though. Everyone pulling their weight. Kagaru unfortunately got picked, but you no, know, we've got multiple hundreds of damage. So much tonnage on the field could have gone either way. Yeah, that one definitely could have been a little bit easier had they focused. But, I mean, they were doing what they had to do, shooting what they could, I guess. When you got uh, those annihilators that far out, there's only so much they can see to shoot between the buildings. So, Yeah, I definitely saw that. Like, I don't know if you caught it on stream, but, you know, those annihilators, as they're pushing up the ramp, the other annihilator backs down the other side. <laughs> there's this weird, awkward point where all mechs can see each other, but neither, none of them can hit each other because of uh, where their cockpits are relative to them. Okay, so let me do another quick giveaway before we bring these guys in for the interview, and then we'll do one again after. And then hopefully these sons of biatches message me in chat. Because ain't no one got time for that. Because, uh... Ah, quickly get rid of you... But, uh, me. Let's rock and roll. A thousand MC again. gonna win. Will it be another box? Ah, Virgo Pros. Virgo Pros use the win. Message me, System Belmont or Toaster, in chat for 1000 MC, and if you don't, after the interviews, I'm gonna have to re-give it away, as I'm already looking like I'm gonna have to give one away already. Alright, I'm gonna say that's not a bot. <laughs> oh, Twitch chat, stop being angry. Well... I don't know who has the bots and who's what around here anymore. But okay, let's do the interviews. And hello, everybody. Hello, hello, Bowser, Jay Z. Hello. Get out, you lot. How you going? <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> I don't. I don't speak whatever that language is, Jay Z. Oh, I had a fair right. income, you know, Reggie Dedge, but a fist of cuffs there, didn't we? It's all right. Those were some... In I, I, hey, man, drop two, I'd never seen nothing like it. And some some amazing matches, great matches from both of you guys. Um, yeah, I guess drop two and five were very interesting. Oh, well, you got that let's, right. Let's just go to the, the fir very first drop. Like, okay, so the most surprising thing to me was Jaeger Max. I, I don't know. I'm, I'm out of the meta, obviously. I, I didn't expect to see those mechs. Like, what were, what were you? Well, so, Jaeger mechs, you can fit five or six AC2s on the thing, 65 tons. As far as pinpoint DPS at range for the tonnage, one of the best there is. The problem is, as soon as I saw the Halberding in mid drop, I was thinking, these guys have counter strated us because the Halberding has to shoot each arm of the Jaeger mech once each. The Jaeger mech, sorry, that, their Halberding shoots four times. Bam. Then they did that. They did like as soon as the Halberding mixed with the Jaeger, I thought, oh, they, they've counted us. They knew we we're going to probably bring Jaegers, or at least they have some sort of you know high alpha at range pinpoint to counter the arms of Jaegers or particular components like the Dragon in Drop Two. And I was like, hmm, yes, this is going to hurt. So uh, pretty early on, yeah. The first on Drop Tech, they did a really good pick by bringing one laser von mech to have a high alpha to take off the, the components they needed to. It's interesting because I actually didn't bring the Hellbringer for that purpose. I didn't think you guys bring Jaeger mechs. I brought it because in my mind you were going to bring some sort of ranged Overwatch mech of some sort. Your largest PPCs, what have you, Spire or even CSJ Hill, which you kind of did, but still, that's that was where the Hellbringer picked. Yeah, because like you guys took away anyway, the Jaegers. The Jaegers arm, I can't remember whose arm went right away. Then after that, it was. Yeah, Barbies went pretty quick, and then um, Condos later when we when we tried transition. Like, as soon as we saw you picking, you like, asked the guys, are you losing trades? As soon as I heard, you know, Bam and Arms gone, 
I knew we couldn't win DPS trade down the Alpha to Alpha lands, so we had to engage the lights. Unfortunately, our light engagement timing wasn't great, so we ended up having a slightly split engagement around the back of Castle, and it didn't go so well for us. Yeah, because your lights got in there quick, and you guys had to catch up. Yeah, that's, that's right. That's kind of what we saw. The Jaegers, they are kind of stuck in that dead zone while the main fight was going on, and they yep. made it eventually, but a little, little... But oh well. Drop two, man. The... The Ooh. Arctic Wolf. Ooh. Ooh. I've, I've been in situation being rushed, rushed by those things, and they are scary. So that, was that kind of your plan, just kind of distract them with the range and kind of get your guys in there? It, it was the same as Drop 1 uh, plan, except the difference is the spawns uh, uh, give us castle, so we know EMPU would be in a more open part of the map. Um, early on... Um, I was sort of like on our comms. I was trying to tell if we were winning or losing trades, uh, slightly losing. So what I did in the jab, and this is really dumb. Don't do this. I tried to actually take trade load off the off the Jagermix by tanking with a jump with my face, jump jetting in front of the the brawl fight. The, the, sorry, the uh, the AT2 spam, and that was to help my um, heavies not get focused too much. That was yeah, that didn't and basically that. Shots. So in that time, my uh, my uh, Arctic Wolves, because two of them were in Bravo Lance, had rejoined. They were idle. So I said, well, there's, there's a whatever that thing I was on the right was, or, or whatever self was in. I think it was a Javelin or a, I think I think it was a Jab. Anyway, um, yeah, 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 go yeah. pick that guy and, and then, then uppercut around the, the back. And they did that, and it was great. And then ammo counts. We just ran out of ammo. We had a bit of a team kill strike in there, but really close match. And, and the Dragon got armed. Um, as well, so close match, but we didn't quite pull it out. Yeah, Bazar, I was going to ask: was, was that Charlemagne that armed the dragon, or was that just the trading? Um, it was probably one of our lights who armed the dragon. I didn't see from my perspective. Probably one of our lights. Yeah, yeah. that was an that was an interesting drop for us. Um, the range traders distracted us quite a bit from our scouting so we didn't really see the arctic wolves i don't believe we did or else a light would not have got caught out so that was a very interesting but ammo counts yeah yeah so i was i was hoping man that dragon he was in such a prime position then i realized oh no he doesn't have any weapons we didn't we didn't realize or i didn't at least realize he didn't have any weapons for quite a while so and then he was like he's not shooting and i'm like uh okay And you didn't but get yeah, rid of man. Didn't you didn't cut condo for that uh, team kill? Well, that's the well, funny here's thing. The thing. <laughs> yeah, it killed him, but it also killed our light through the back. Yeah. So it killed Charlemagne through the back, one hit. Well, so. this this is technically calculated because Nitrox had just run out of ammo, so he says out of ammo. So Condo's like, I'm sorry, you don't, we don't need you anymore. So he just dropped uh, the strike. <laughs> so he, <laughs> so he, 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 he is like ammo. taking one for yeah. the team. There, he's like, um, use me as bait. Well, I think the strike was launched before the call for no ammo anyway. So, <laughs> I mean, uh, um, anyway, and then CAG ran out of ammo afterwards. It was really close on that. We um, uh, we had basically had like, you know, when you're building mechs for comp like this, you're trying to bring it right to the wire, you know, just like, just, you know, make sure your armor is max we can, engines where they need to be, heat sink counts and all that, because in the brawl, any of those small things are just going to, um, yeah. Yeah, you, you end up with like you know two hundred extra rounds of SRMs. You did something wrong. Yeah. So uh, overall, like I, I don't know, I, that might have been my favorite match of the, the night. I don't know. The last, the drop five was incredible. But now uh, I guess on to uh, the first match of. So yeah, so uh, Caustic's not particularly my favorite map in any way. Um, it was my sort of map set against the NP. I was thinking, oh, Caustic, are you kidding me? Anyway, so we thought, well, we'll have a bit of fun with it. And given Bowser's right here, uh, two gas for Iron 15s, Mad Cat 2. I believe Bowser stole that build from a T Swipe member. I'm not sure. There's a, there's a joke, uh, actually. I believe he stole that from D5. I did not I no steal idea. it from anybody. It was theory. <laughs> I did not know anybody was running it. I theorycrafted it from a member of our. Well, a member of ours theorycrafted and I got it that way, so. <laughs> Yeah, but sorry, <laughs> I just had to go there. Had a no, friend. Um, of we, a friend. <laughs> so we thought it was going to work, and it didn't. Um, but I mean, the the receive that we weren't expecting, we weren't expecting like a 
a sort of an ECM assault like the Lightgas, which I have. I, I actually run that Lightgas Fafnir. It's legit. It's not just. It's not a meme build. It's actually a legit mech. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, it's legit. And um, like I ran the Bullring Seven K. Kagran's Griffin. If you know Kag and I, we like to run mechs like that together. And it's also Kag's first comp drop in of oh, 2018. So it was good to have him back in the saddle. Um, we just yeah, we just couldn't really get our locks into LRMs at the same time as dealing with light pressure from the Piranha. We just couldn't quite get the pieces to come together. Uh, we heard a lot of mechs, we just didn't get that finishing. So, yeah, um, EMP definitely, uh, yeah, as they did all, all matches, but this one, they definitely outplayed us. Yeah, I, I was wondering that in the back of my mind. I get That is a ECM Fafni. That it kind of explains why there wasn't as much LRM fire as I was expecting, given, you know, it seemed like Jay-Z... You were, you were in there, you had line of sight, plenty of time to get a lot of locks, but it didn't seem like there were too many LRMs actually hitting their targets for most of the fight. Uh, or at least um, not it, as many as I would have expected. The difficulty uh, was I, every time I came to hold a lock, they had the mag cat to basically suppress me down. So I had my, I used my UAVs, but they got shot down, so I, I couldn't really hold long sustained locks, so that was a bit of a difficulty in making sure it translated so i was holding locks kind of um but i wasn't able to really hold good locks you know yeah yeah i know bowser yeah it was pretty calculated to take the fafnir i knew it would be strong on this map i knew the ecm would be powerful um it was i would say yeah definitely seems like it All right. i don't like the fafnir i think it's very poor but in that specific situation just it, the combination of like, ECM yeah. and hard points. Yeah. Well, more so is playing like an AC2 boat, I guess. An AC2 boat with ECM. Similar play style. And it, it'll do that fine. So. Hey, man. I mean, everyone's given Axe64 flack for bringing an LRM Fafnir, and he does a thousand damage at least once a night. You know, people keep talking shit on mechs, but if you know how to use it, it don't matter. Yep. It doesn't matter if he gets CT'd out. Like what happened in Drop 5 on Mining, but we'll get there when we get there. <laughs> all right, all right. So the uh, the old brawl, that was... I, Kaguru, man, rip his griff. Was, was that the uh, Hunchback that did that? It was just like double tap. Yeah, Hunchback double tap um, is brutal on the UAC-40. It's probably one of the... Like, it's a, it's a extremely powerful pinpoint, you know, burst mech, so... Pushed over there, he ate it. Um, the Mac out was there too, that's had a good receive. Um, you know, we can't bail through a bit of the firing line, but we just, we're taking damage faster than we were dealing it. Um, and really, that's all I have to say, I have to say about Job 4. Uh, they had a good receive, um, they had the LRM mech away, they had the Lurkhouse mech away as well, so they had a wide receive lane. It was more of us trying, maybe we could catch something off guard, but we just didn't have the right, um, we, we, you know, we weren't fast enough to cover ground. I think you did catch. I don't know, Bowser. Did did they catch Zia's and Rickrom a little bit off guard? They oh, it, no, it they did. Like... They they didn't catch anybody off guard because I mean, okay. yeah, they got to kill them, but that's because they were up there in their face. It's of course going to happen with a brawl. Yeah, yeah. So that's that's just to be. That was their position to play, and they did it. Someone's got to be the speed bump. Yeah, it does seem like that that hunchback though. It's kind of like how I used to think about the small pulse Nova. It's just all about. You know, dump a lot of damage in one spot real quick. The Stone Oval builds that to do that, but I agree the Hunchback is a place similarly to that. All right, and drop, drop five. I was, we hadn't seen any Annies that that night, but I'm always a little Annies on that map kind of scare me a little bit. It seems like they can get kited, but both teams drop them. But what were you guys' thoughts? Like you saw two two eight at least kind of playing theirs, kind of in the back like how I've seen teams play Warhawks like kind of more Overwatch, reach out kind of control their side and kind of reach onto middle a little. That was interesting. Yeah, pretty man. much. I basically, I basically just like died pretty much. So that was because the pattern is terrible. But um, the rest of our team pretty much just outshot the enemy. Was, that's how I saw it from our perspective. So, and their T28's Piranha made a very terrible play and got himself nuked. Oh, Kaguru, poor guy. Yeah. Truly well, wasn't... first, first time back in some matches. It's you know things happen. 
I know I've been picked. Um, so, so I assume that was an LB10 10 Fafnir, correct? No, I had no. two LB20s and four SM6 Artemis oh, and Scorch Fafnir. Oh, okay. So yeah, well, like what? So what made like PMP? Why did you guys decide to push? Like, I, I kind of expected one team to take it, but I didn't. I didn't really see any major thing happening that made me think, oh, they should push Theta right now. Like, what was it's, the it's just the it's just the best position. If you sit on the ramp, you get struck. If you take Theta, you can pull multiple angles. You can spread out a bit while still shooting across to their firing lines. That's exactly. What yeah, because you guys were eyeballing Kondo on the other side of the ramp, and he was backing off, and then you started to go up, and then from there you guys spread out, seeing the Annihilators, I assume. That's when you seen them on the other side. So basically, your your, your thought was just... We're, you never thought about like actually trying to just control the map without having stuff no, on data. No, I thought it like, was just outshoot the enemy. Just outshoot the enemy, do it however means possible. And so we did. Barely. Uh, our Fairly, our Evan yeah. Jag was one touch CT, yes, I and am. our Annihilator was stripped and one shot. So yep. yeah, I ran out of ammo killing Salif, and I went, "Yeah, I can win this." No, no. <laughs> so my column says, "Go no." I the, my my last missile killed Salif, and that was it. Yeah, I'm we like, were, oh, yeah no. we, from our point, it was pretty exciting to watch too, because it was like, okay, we got we got Jay Z, and we got Zyles, both basically one alpha away from winning this thing because ash was stripped it's like oh he's got no ammo oh it's zaya's zaya's was set up though where we predicted uh jay-z would come out of so at best in my mind they would have traded evenly because the lasers and missiles so even if you had ammo even if you returned towards the image jag and we would have still won that so well, it was very close but it was in my opinion an assured victory well zaya's was just picking off was pete pete and then you jay-z every time you could pop and then I don't know. He, Zyles was always where I he had, needed um, to be. Yeah, I, I I felt really good with the damage I put out. Like I the Wolverine was really really where I needed to be. How, what the part of the reason I dropped ammo was to actually get max jump jets. So I actually dropped out of lobby and maxed the jump jets out for mining collectives, like a pop tart. So that's how I got you know a lot of damage in um, on the assaults, particularly just they like, keep pouring it in um, from lots of angles around that around all the um, buildings. So. Yeah. yeah, trying to get as much as very far as I can to soften up the enemy team so the um, and all those could finish them. But extremely close, you know, yeah, like really, really close one, but yeah, didn't what, quite make it in the end. Zaz's health was literally so low that well, Belmont, you said it actually showed him not having a CT when you spec'd Yeah, at the end there was no <laughs> CT, so basically was, a, you know, a, a scratch rub, away. A rub away from being dead. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, great matches, both both teams. Yeah, thanks for letting us cast them. I was excited to watch and, and see them happen. That was fun. Always fun to play. And that is actually uh, my last comp drop of the year because um, we don't have people <laughs> positivity in. That was scheduled to be our week five match. So we're done. Um, and yeah, that's uh, I guess that's uh, Wild Ones for 2018. Um, and now it's probably some faction drops because we do lots of factions. So, yeah. Yeah, well, that's good. Well, I mean, congrats to you guys on your tech, the, the last drop for BFM. Another season completed. Yeah. Now go relax. Maybe, uh, <laughs> yeah, I don't take, know. Take a break. Rum rumors have it Dane's putting some faction. Maybe we'll see you there. Yeah, I streamed about five hours of faction yesterday. That was pretty fun. To get, to set up an LG group and send it. Lots of W King. <laughs> Good. Oh, that's right, good. GGs, guys, and thanks for uh, casting. Yeah, thanks for thanks having for us. Thanks for talking. All right, we'll get you guys out of here. Beat it. As I'm watching MRBC2 right now, Clan Smoke Jag is four drops. It's a smoke adder zero, 23 kills to 11 kills, so there's, they're having a... A nice win streak there too for Squad Smoke Jag, but I actually haven't given anything away tonight except for Navid, Navid, Navid. We're gonna say A1, A1 over here. We gave his Mech Bay back, so I need to give away some thousand MC because it still shows Let's these guys are in it. chat, but no one is talking to me, which is very depressing. Message us, please. please. Slash W. I got some, some much codes. I need to give stuff away. Just, just. 
take it. Let's but yeah, let's get the giveaways done and then sounds like RJ, RJ and Mikado. RJ in half an hour. Yeah. Let's make sure that's good. It's good. Gonna be Merc Star versus Cranky Canadian. Oh, we're gonna ditch move. So Nutty team. Rats team and Merc Star, which I'm pretty sure everybody. If you play faction warfare, you've you've run into them, I'm sure. All right, thousand MC, I want you to have it. Talk to me, System Belmont, Toaster in Twitch chat. We'll give it Please. to you. Please, we want to give it away. They don't pay us if we don't. Yeah, I don't get to keep this. I get to give it back and still be poor. They also don't pay us if we do get to give it away. Yeah. Dubay 17 you have won a thousand MC my friend and I'm tempted to do another one although I mean like these guys I can see you there you are apricot droop fruit I'm looking at you man a apricot droop fruit is definitely a bot you can you can reroll that one I think so I seen a I'm, face. I'm quite sure because I go in the chat I press the thing I see apricot droop fruit why is there so much uh, shit? Yes, but but Why Twitch? Droop Why? Friends with Commander. God damn it. Well, we're going to reroll another 1000 MC. And I will just leave it as it is. I'm going to find a new freaking giveaway tool soon here. Another 1000 MC giveaway. Mickey Knox, Mickey Knox, my friend, you are a thousand MC richer. All right, he's 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 literally. I've seen him type in Twitch. If he doesn't message you or me, shame, shame, Mickey Knox. Be a damn shame. Should I give away these other three mech bays? Just quickly roll them. Uh, I'm gonna say that's your call. I don't I don't know like. I'm gonna roll. What, what, gotta... we, we can roll them. I gotta get rid of this stuff. I've got so much. I gotta give so much more away. Next one too. Quickly, do a mechbay giveaway for the same people in chat now. Take it. Take the thing. Do it. It's free. It's free real estate. But it's not. It's mechbay. Ash, Ash will be very upset with you, Twitch chat, if you don't take this stuff. That's right. Mm. Ah, Witch Doctor. You have a mech bay, my friend. But you need to talk to me between now and RJ's, since it's the end, and that's all I'm going to do. And I got two more to give away, so I'm going to do another quick, just because. God damn you people not being here paying attention. This MC. I know. What are these people thinking? Not, not with. Oh man, I don't even know how to say this. Mercurio Warworth. Mercurio. Mercurio. Mercurio Warworth. You have a mech bay. Say something at least. Just tell me. Mercurio. I think it's Mercurio. I don't. Mercurio. I don't care. You don't play the game. I need to know this. I need to just say something. Say, but hey man, I, I don't need it. It's fine. I don't know. I'm not doing no. it anymore. Screw it. People lost out. I'm giving away somebody else that pays taxes. It does does me favors. Like Ash. I'll just give him back to Ash. He can have it. Okay. Well, probably RJ will give him away. Who knows? That's true. I'm sure, there will be more giveaways later. He just got a schwack load of codes as well, so... So, yeah. 30 to 13. 5 and 0 oh for Imperial over 2 2A Wild Ones. Definitely two interesting matches. Three that definitely went easily in the way in the favor of EMP. So 
It'll be exciting to see EMP's got one more match against uh, Smoke Jaguar next week, sometime, whenever they book it. I'd like to thank Toaster for doing another drop with me, doing another shoutcast. Thanks for having me. It was fun. Great matches. It's a pleasure to be cast. Oh, I just die. love watching good mech warrior. Oh, did you? Did you actually die? No, you just you just cut out for a second. Oh, did there. I die? Ah! It's a pleasure to watch great teams play. You know, always always fun. Show me why I'm bad. <laughs> how to improve not suck perfect thanks but okay i will let you go and i'm gonna say bye to everybody you guys have a good night stick around you can watch the banners and wait for rj to start with mikado is that who he's starting with uh yes rj and mikado mikado for the uh, cranky canadians black one no cranky canadians versus Merkstar. and rumor has it that this match could decide their division. Oh, that's true, yeah. Yeah, if, if Merkstar doesn't win it, that means DFA's got it. So that'd be interesting. Interesting to see who's going to win Div C. So everybody stick around for that. There'll be more giveaways. Take the prizes, goddammit. Just, just take them. I'll just say take something. Em. Whisper us, please. And all right. We want to give you things. Yeah, want to give you things. So we'll see you later, Space Cowboys. Bye.